everyone, it's me, Project Paradise, and today's video is going to be explaining to you where I had been for a whole month before my previous video, obviously. It's been two weeks since my previous video, I think, um, but before that I had obviously been gone from YouTube for a month, and I suppose that is quite a long time, especially for those loyal people that are waiting for a video every single week, so I am really sorry about that, but this video is mainly going to be explaining to you why I've been gone for a month. So basically during this whole month it actually been really really stressful for me with college. You guys probably don't know this but I do a media course level 3 and it's basically an A level based course and the final month was all about the final major project and with that required tons of written work and also I had to film a whole project for that as well which took over the course of a few weeks. It wasn't just something I could film on the day, it took a long time to do and also plan for. I had to make a script, I had to make a storyboard and like I said lots of written work involved. And honestly I would just come back from college feeling really stressed out, feeling really really tired and a lot of the time I would come back and I would literally sleep because I'd be so so tired. I'd sleep for a few hours so it was a really stressful time for me and I just was not in the right frame of mind to make a video. I always find for me personally, in order to make a really good video, I have to be in the right frame of mind. I have to be with it. If I'm not with it, the video is going to turn out really poor. So I don't want to upload a really poor quality video for you. So in order to make the best video I possibly can, I have to be in the right frame of mind for that. So that, that took up majority of that month, all the work I had to do for college and it was just so busy. I didn't even have enough time to be on YouTube properly, like watching people's videos, replying to people on my channel. That's something I do all the time, but I did not have the time for that. So it was that bad. <laughs> but I can happily say that all of the written work has paid off because I have ended up with a distinction overall, which I'm really, really pleased with. I missed loads of videos that I've had to catch up with now. And I've also started replying to all the comments that I've missed out and all the comments I was not able to reply to, which is taking a very, very long time, but I am getting there. But yes, I have missed YouTube, I have missed making videos, and the great thing is I have finished college now. I'm now on my summer holidays. I have actually finished quite early. It's just so nice to be away from college, to be away from stress, from work, and away from it all, not having to get up so early in the mornings as well. <laughs> Because I'm really not a morning person. I'm really, no, I get up pretty late. I just don't get up in the mornings, hardly ever. <laughs> so yeah, not a morning person. I'm a night owl. I also had one of my mice escape. Latte! Yeah, she escaped for over a month. I was very worried and very stressed out because I left food and water down and the food had not been touched. And I actually generally thought I had actually lost her for good. I didn't think she'd be coming back. And I was going to make an announcement saying, sorry guys, but I don't think Latte is going to be coming back. I don't think you'll be seeing her again. And it was going to be really horrible and sad and having just even more bad luck with my mice. So uh, yeah, but thankfully, literally the other night, she came back. I saw her. She's alive. She was fine. I'm just thinking, where have you been? <laughs> This was after I hoovered under my bed and I'd opened my room, which is just through there. I have an extra room attached to my bedroom that was the rat room. So I'm guessing she probably was hiding under my bed or she might have been in that room because I'd had actually opened that room recently and I'm guessing maybe she went in that room somehow. The door does sometimes open, it's quite a loose door. So maybe she managed to get into there if so, she's definitely been having food. Maybe that's it. Maybe she's been stuffing her face in that room with all the food and stuff that's in there that she didn't need to eat food on my floor. So I've been worrying and stressing out about her being somewhere lost forever or getting stuck somewhere when she was having an absolute well of a time in that room stuffing away all the food she possibly can. Wow, she put me through a lot of stress. But I cannot tell you how happy I was when I saw her. So uh, yeah, that's the story of Latte. Very stressful and worrying on top of everything else in that month. Like I said, that month was very long and stressful and I just could not make a video and I'm sorry about that. But hopefully you guys understand why. 
And as always, thank you so much for continuously supporting my videos and my channel, leaving the sweetest comments. It's always such a joy when I've been gone for a while and I come on YouTube and I make a video because I actually get really sad when I'm off YouTube for a while. I do get sad. Um, I physically feel like everyone's kind of forgetting about my channel. Yeah, I get really sad when I'm away from YouTube, but as soon as I come back on YouTube, you guys honestly bring me so much joy when I see all your comments. You guys make me feel happy and feel welcomed and loved and I can't really ask for more than that so thank you so much for your support. I'm just incredibly happy to have such a wonderful community of people and I'm really incredibly proud to be in such a lovely community. <laughs> so I just had to get plum for you guys because look at this, look how adorable she is and she's in her most absolute favourite thing in the world, this coconut. Honestly this is the best thing I've ever got plum. She adores it, she's in it every day. I don't know if you just saw that quick little pose, but I think I'm going to be saving that and putting it on my Instagram. Um, if you guys already don't know, I do have an Instagram for my YouTube. I always link it in the description. And if you're interested in seeing lots of cute pics of Plum, then I definitely suggest going on my Instagram because there's lots of adorable poses from Plum. I kind of find it impossible to speak to her in a normal voice. It's just, I can't help it. She's just so adorable. So she sends me to this little voice. So that's it for this video. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you like our videos and want to see any more, then go subscribe. And if you even enjoyed the video or you just enjoyed seeing little plum at the end, then don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you next time. Bye.